So I'm here with Eddie Davis III, who's an artist and an art teacher at the Creative Workshop here at the Memorial Art Gallery. And he does a ton of self-portraits. He's constantly drawing, and this is some of the work that he does. I've got hundreds of drawings, probably, and I'd say more than a few of those are self-portraits. Right. Personal inspiration, I draw from, you know, comic books, and also sort of, you know, the, the fantastic imagery. What I did was I took drawings from my own sketchbook, individual drawings and then I photocopied them on different different colored pieces of paper and then I was able to actually cut those individual drawings out and collage them. I have a pencil, my business card. So I'm going to use oil pastels. A brown crayon. They're kind of like big soft crayons. This is a little tiny hair clip. I do want it to be goofy because these are goofy materials. I usually start with just a few simple marks. This is an etching by Hugh Botts, who's an American artist, active in New York City, at a time when I think he was really proud that his art was finally being seen. And you can see here, I tend to work pretty fast. If you're a little bit self-conscious, or if you haven't done this a lot, then this might be actually a method that works. So I thought we'd stop at a coffee shop and ask people around Rochester what they know about self-portraits and if they want to do one. If you were to do a self-portrait, what would you include? The features that people usually right. comment about. There would have to be some African artifacts. Um, I wouldn't give it as much thought. Uh -huh. I'd probably do it more on an emotional level. And as he made this self-portrait, he really chose to represent himself in a few different moments in time. I've cut my index card, my old library card, to fit. As an artist who's done self-portraits before, I tend to feel like I know what I look like. But how do I know what I look like today? Really just try to work quickly without allowing yourself maybe that time to consider everything, that spontaneity, actually can help you end up with a better piece of art. A powerful self-portrait shows the world who you are, what you believe, and what you can do. We balance the realism with an expression of me conceptually. The same way that a musician might improvise, you as an artist can improvise your self-portrait. Whatever materials you use, whatever way you approach it, if your self-portrait looks like you and feels like you, go ahead and put it up at artdrop.org. So this is my self-portrait, and I encourage you to upload yours at artdrop.org.